Ne? Well, good morning, YouTube. All right, guys, I think it's like 10 a.m. We've been open for about an hour. Luckily, the ground is mostly dry. It's still overcast, but there isn't droplets of water falling from the sky, and that makes me a little bit happy. Still not a lot of people here yet, but it's early. And, uh, I don't know, fingers crossed that this rally will start to turn around. All right, guys, I do have some good news. Mike finally made it. He actually showed up last night just before we went to dinner, but he opted not to go to dinner with us. That's why we didn't see him in yesterday's video, but he had to go the long way to get out of Asheville. He had to head we did north up into Virginia first and then over and around, right? Or no, into, into yeah, Tennessee. Into Tennessee and the ranch. Yeah. So it was just, and it was still a little bit of a, a treacherous way to go, but he finally found his way here. He said there's nothing more he can do at home. So he's come here and hang out, make a little bit of money, and hopefully take some supplies back to people that need it in Asheville. Right, guys, with that said, Mike has got like a network of people in Asheville that are trying to help the people that don't have. Anyway, guys, so there's a lot of people in Asheville, one, that don't have a place to live. They don't have food. They don't have water. And a lot of people have stepped up to volunteer. As you know, tragedies like this often show the good people come out and do what they can to help. So there are people down there that are actually cooking food and just giving it away, but they still got to have the supplies. They've got to have the food to cook. So while Mike is here and he's in an area where we can get those products and those supplies, he wants to be able to take some of it back and give it to the people in Asheville. So if you guys have any way of being able to help with that, let us know. If you're gonna come by here, I think we're gonna put a donation jar out as well to help the people in Asheville. You know, Nashville isn't the only area affected, but it's the area that we're connected to. So we're gonna do our part to try to help that. So whatever you guys can do to help would be awesome. All right, guys, this gentleman, Stuart, came by to show us his Ural. If you're not familiar with Urals, they're actually really, really cool motorcycles. They all come with sidecars, boxer style engine. Definitely really neat. You don't see them very often. <laughs> Alright guys, we finally got our first bike in on service for today. Old Tri Glide doing a Supreme Oil Change service on it. Mike's jumping in and taking care of it. Now, good morning, Katie. How are you? Good morning, good. How are you? So it's still a bit of a slow morning here, still pretty cloudy, but it looks like Wide Open Customs is working. They got a couple motorcycles in here. They're putting fairings on. Kind of funny. I'm not overly familiar, but I saw on the maps, we got a vendor here called oilcity.com. I thought maybe we had a competitor. Turns out it's all apparel, just shirts, no oil. All right. Here we are from Myrtle. We just got an update from Adam that our oil should be here in the next 10 to 15 minutes. Fingers crossed. All right. The truck has arrived. All right, guys, here it comes. The delivery has arrived. All right, guys, the shipment has arrived. Talon and I have taken it off the pallet and we have just about fully got it organized. We'll be sending out text messages shortly and letting everybody know we're fully open and ready to go. All right, everyone, we are fully open and operational. As you can see, Talon's got the first bike up on the lift. Come on down and see us. All right, guys, tell me what you think. After about a thousand miles on the motorcycle, I realized that the factory seat, even though they had the cover and it looked kind of cool, better than a factory seat, but you know, add a little flair to it. It still wasn't comfortable over the long haul. Short rides, no big deal, but I wasn't as comfortable as I like to be. So I reached out to Mustang Seats and Melissa over there definitely gave me a really good deal on this seat. 
and I think it looks better. It feels better. I can't wait to go out and get tacos tonight so I can actually get some seat time in it to see how it feels. like the pattern on the inlays the stitching i did the red stitching because it matches the other red accents that are on the motorcycle i could have gone with all gray as well and definitely wouldn't have been wrong with that choice the old seat had gray stitching and red stitching both you know i did kind of like the Harley logo in the back and the road glide kind of ghosted in in there. I say ghosted because it's the same color as the seat, but it's got the texture for the embroidering and it looks really nice. But all in all, I think this seat looks 10 times better. And now I've got a backrest, got a more comfortable passenger seat. Not that I have passengers often, but it'll, it'll be nicer if Katie does want to take a short ride for me. The other seat was miserable. She got a mile and a half on it and begged me to take her back to get her bike. She goes, I cannot ride on this. Guys, you know the last couple days I've been so over the rain. I am so happy now the sun's coming out. I hope it stays this way. Now at three o'clock, there is a slightly increased chance of rain, but it's not a lot. If we get a little bit okay, maybe this rally can turn around and we can get some real good business. It's about 4.30. We've been open and operational for several hours now. We've got a couple of bikes up on the lifts. Today's been going good. Come out and see us. We're here through Saturday. local subscribers here coming out and seeing us in Myrtle Beach. They're our first trike of the rally. Yay. Well, all right, guys, today has just flown by. If you look, everybody else is closed up and we're getting ready to. Mike is finishing up a 5,000 mile service on the Indian. We, we've we actually had, what, five bikes in in the last hour and a half or so. It's still not a busy day by any means, but definitely better than the last few days have been. That three o'clock rain never came. The sun is out. It's partly cloudy, some blue skies. It's awesome. This is what I've been working on. You guys remember when we did the trip to Yellowstone, I had issues with my fender contacting my oil cooler, trying to rip it off and all this other stuff. So the way I routed the hoses there, like in that emergency situation to fix it, they were actually rubbing on the frame a little bit. There's no big deal. But over time, I was starting to get another little drip minor but i wanted to address it and i was like you know what well i got it up here and it's a slow day let's look into relocating this oil cooler so i pulled out all of my oil cooler paraphernalia here and uh i mounted it to the frame right up here next to the love jugs check it out so it sits right up there in front of the love jugs fan is still attached I haven't run the wiring yet. The, the wire harness is down there and I don't like that the way it is. I'm gonna completely redo it. I got rid of the brackets right here. So I lowered the regular rectifier back down. Now there's plenty of room for the fender. Cleans that up a lot. Not real thrilled with this. Um, I barely have enough room for clearance on the shifter. In fact, if I rotate it back like this where I really wanted it, then the, then the shifter hits it. So I had to split the difference there and angle it which is kind of good that keeps this fan a little bit more clearance as well now my hoses are too short to reach here because they were down here so we're gonna have to go get some more hose finish it up tomorrow and run the wiring and this collar on the frame is just slightly loose it's i don't know if you can see it in there just a little bit of a gap so i gotta find something to shim that i have way. a bunch of these frame type clamps here and none of them are the exact right size on that but our clearance is so small, I can probably take like a piece of old inner tube, cut a little panel out, wrap the frame with it, put that clamp around there, it'll be just enough to take up the space, it'll grip that frame really good. The whole system is sturdy, even with that little bit of play in it, but I want it right. It's almost time to close. 
and it's Tuesday, so it's Taco Tuesday. We had a subscriber come by and give us a great recommendation on tacos. We know what? I don't know that it's great. We haven't been there yet. And he says that Maryville is tricky for tacos. There really isn't like that great taco place that he knows of, but this is the best place he could think of. Not a far ride. So as soon as we get closed up here in a few minutes, we're going to head that way. Um, and it'll be nice to put some miles on Dr. Evil with the new seat on it. I even adjusted my bars back a little bit. Mike helped me stand back and get them angled with the steering a little bit better because I wasn't happy with the way they were. Maybe it'll be better now. Did you go for a walk, baby D? Yes. You did? Huh? You I did? Went. Yeah. You sponge my camera lens. All right, the day is done, closing up, getting ready to go get some tacos. 5,000 mile service is done on the Indian and out of here, and she was really cool, great stories, telling us about all her other bikes that she had and everything. I'm, I'm really looking forward to those tacos. So today was at least a better day. Mike stayed busy the second half of the day anyways. I got some work done on the Street King. I even got a little bit of work done on Dr. Evil as well. All in all, not too bad. Still not a busy day like we hoped for, but not too bad. And I know that Amanda and Talon called me a couple times, asked some questions. They've got some work in there. Uh, we'll have to check in and see how they're doing. All right, guys, we made it out of here. I guess it's Chappy Lines Street Tacos. Never been here before. We're going to give it a try. I'll ask them when they bring it. These are pretty good, honey. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Good evening from Myrtle Beach. We are all closed up. It's about nine o'clock. As you can see, there's no one left here. All right, guys, dinner at, what do we call it? Chup, chup. God help them. Ch Chapulinas, Chapulines. I don't know how to say it, but the tacos were actually really good. Mike enjoyed his, Katie enjoyed hers, even the quesadilla. Chapulines. Chapulines? Chapulines? Yeah, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, Chapulines. but it was fantastic, actually. It was amazing. You know, when our subscriber, uh, had recommended it. He wasn't sure it was like up to our standards because I guess good tacos around here are kind of hard to find. But we really, really enjoyed it. So, uh, it was amazing. And plantains, I mean, their plantains were spot on. <gasps> Absolute level. Yum, yum, yum. All right, guys, like I said, today was a much better day. It looks like they had a better day at Myrtle as well. I've thrown a few clips in here for you guys to see what's going on there. I haven't actually viewed all of them yet, so I don't know what you're going to see. 
but uh, hopefully the rest of the week will continue to get better with the weather and more people coming out. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time I see you. Keep those engines running. Yeah, everybody.